And check out the Mavs. Fashion first, getting off the bus, and now they'll try to make the same impression on the court. Going after this win on the road. Welcome to 2K Sports Live Saturday night coverage of the NBA. Thanks for tuning in. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. And taking a broader look here at the year over year scoring trend for him. And his scoring numbers have been going in the right direction these past few years. He's gotten better and better at handling what those opposing defenses are throwing his way and, and finding ways to get his points all over the floor. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Cowboy is out there with Wallace, and it's ABC. Then there's Yao, and it's Beal in at the two. We've got the kid. Cowboy is out there with the monster. Then there's the miracle man, and it's Wilson in at the small forward. Now here's Lynn. Let's it go with the three. Waters can't get it to go. And now here comes Wilson leading the break, and it's Leonard with the jam. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Here is Lynn. Passes it to Beal. All right, Clark, old school lineups tonight. Both sides anchored by great pivot men. Kevin, I can hear the excitement in your voice, man, and I, I share that excitement. When you see big guys that can go at it in old school fashion, I love seeing that because we don't see it that much these days with all of the three-point shooting. We get to see big guys going to work in the paint. I love it. Yeah, way to play and attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh, yeah. What a Gracious. play. Whoa, just climbing the ladder for that 360. Stupendous hop. Yeah, Greg, he was sky high on that finish. And that's what it takes, guys. Athleticism, coordination, and a bunch of confidence and fearlessness. And here comes the break on up the court. The monster. It's good on the putback. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Two on none. No one back to stop this. And then Leonard with the jump. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. Boy, there's not much defense available once a steal is made. That's the best time to attack on the break. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Lynn the pass to Yao. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. And Yao Ming's a handful when he's this deep. I mean, virtually impossible to guard. You can't let him get this kind of positioning. Easier said than done, though. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Now here's Lynn. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Boston. Beal, that's short off the rim. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. And it's Leonard with the jam. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Timeout, timeout. Well, I love I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality Start. shots, not wasting possession. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, and last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly scoreline. The foul trouble was a big chunk of it. I mean, it's hard to mount a comeback when all your key guys, your main players, are watching from the bench. Robertson, he's checked in for Dallas. Outside, Lynn, the pass to Wallace. Outside, Lynn, shot clock at six. 
Beal, that's for two. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. Yao's got his second basket of the night. And Ming is, is mammoth in terms of his size. Exceptional at using it to snare those offensive rebounds. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Now here's Lynn. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Here's Gary. Boom, he jams it straight down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punch blazing. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. That one falls. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Now, here's Yao. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. And also four blocks. I mean, just an important factor on both ends. Count it. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. 10 straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Here's Yao. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. It's good. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. And yes, it's good. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Mavericks trailed by 11. McCoy passes to Yao. There's 37 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Lynn dishes to Yao. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Cloak loose. And here's the fast break. Here's Gary. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Thunder's got his second basket. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding... passes four straight field goals have been made off an assist the Mavericks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game and they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line and guys I'd have to credit the work they put in at the free throw line to practice this season I mean because they have noticeably improved since a year ago He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. A matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the stripe. He was feeling it. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. Six seconds left in the first. Here's McCoy. And so it's the home team. 13 points up at the end of the period. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. Right back after this break. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack 
or just keep on pounding it inside. On the floor right now for the Mavericks, they've got Cowboy, also Wallace out there, and it's Oturu in at the center position. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance Buffet. They can make a big difference. Fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. 13 points in the game. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And the ball ends up out of bounds. No keep possession. Dallas making a switch here. Beals checked in. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And the call will be against D. That's his first foul. Here's Miracle Man. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Here's Waters. And the lead is down inside single digits. Waters got his first points of the night. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Kev. You know, Ben Simmons, a player at 6'10", with, with those hands, he's incredible to watch on that. How about Fred Blambleet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1", I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man, and that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. I like the Chris Pauls, the Patrick Beverleys, there are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball like you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great play. Four on the clock. Gets a very good look and converts. Waters got his second bucket of the night. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a... Oh, what a dunk! He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that or they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Trains the three-pointer. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. And just tax a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Now, here's Milton. He's been quiet so far. Still no... points in the game and the professor picks up the foul that's his first foul and in the second quarter a little under three and a half minutes played already bucket is good Yao's got eight points huge hole in the defense that possession he didn't waste any time cutting through it and he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through and you can see which team has the swagger right now well, you know what? You don't want to do too much. To get him. opponent Raul 
fouled up, you got to be mindful of that. And, and that's foul number two. And it, maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another beforehand. Rain man checked in for Leonard. That one good for two. Gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. To the paint. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Then he's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball time into out, the paint. And, and that's the... Kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. And the Mavericks call time here. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. Now here's Robertson. Eight points his last outing. Here's Yao. He's guarded closely. They get the rebound. And he makes good on the layup. Yao's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Here's Money. His three-pointers off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Poked away. Here we go. All alone. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. You know, you push it after a steal, there's almost no chance the defense can get back and recover. McCoy passes Diaw. Kicks to Lynn. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Six points for Lynn. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. He got whacked on that. It shouldn't be Time much. Out. Eight there. Blatant Started. contact. Straightforward call. Simple. one falls for and that one goes in two from the line that time really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that the soft touch on full display outside Lynn right wing here's McCoy the basket good off the assist from Lynn Lynn's got four assists in the game and the three-pointers are starting to add up. That's his third of the quarter, and it brings him to four on the game. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Pass to McCoy. Pushing it up. Here's ABC. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's... What can happen? Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And so it's the home team. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks. Dwayne, not the night you want so far. What do you see happening out there? I don't know what has happened, but our defensive uh, concentration, rotation has gone the way of the Buffalo. And, and I don't know what it is. I can care less about offense. You know, we're going to score. That's not the problem. It's making up our mind and having a commitment to the defensive end. 
Okay, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Taking a look at this home squad. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, it's a nice, patient offense they're running tonight. Uh, they're not forcing shots. They're waiting for the good ones. And as efficient as they've been, no wonder they're in front. Kenny, how do you think Dallas played? Well, it's hard to defend a team that gets red hot from the floor. I think the effort was there on D, but they could not come up with a plan to cool them off. We're bound to see a whole different game plan, a whole different approach from them coming out of the break. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think. going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And so here's the home team, our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. That seems all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. They've got Miracle Man, Wilson out there with Cowboy, then it's the kid, and it's the monster in at the five. A nice shot by Lynn. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Breaker, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for uh, on selfishness instincts that stuff matters but ultimately your play your teammates got to feel like you play for them uh, and, and that's when you have a team a chance as a team to, to be special I'm assuming you've always been like that am I correct no that oh, is not really? true wow. I evolved into a leader in all seriousness wow. you know you, I, I think it, some guys are natural others like myself had to evolve into it Here's Miracle Man. The Mavericks making the shot. Shot's good by Wilson. Wilson's got his first three points of the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Beals checked in for Dallas. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. And the foul goes on the Magician. That's his first foul. Here's Beal. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Inside. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Lynn with it. 11 points in the game. Ball's knocked loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. 
incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Beal's got four points in the quarter. Miracle man, the pass to the monster. You know, didn't need two hands for that slam. One will do just fine. You're right. He can save the other hand for the next shot. <laughs> yeah, I like the variety, though. Nice to switch it up. And he comes up with the deuce. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling, taking matters into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Wallace kicks to Lynn. Back to Wallace. Pass to Lynn. Shot clock at five. Here's Beal. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. Beal's got nine points. And what a fantastic start here to the second half. They have yet to miss. And guys, it doesn't matter who you're rooting for. You've got to appreciate a reverse jam like that. Greg, those kinds of dunks are how reputations are built. Yes. Well, his reputation is already pretty good. I think he just enhanced it right there. Now here's Wallace. Bradley Beal unable to get his shot to go. Good on the three-point shot. 14 points for him. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And it's the Mavericks on the break. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Six points for Wallace. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And the dunk by Wallace. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. It's good for the seventh time this game. He shot seven. He has made seven. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Lynn, that one off the back iron and out. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Oh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo... Clearly, it's helped them gain the advantage in this part. Dallas calls timeout. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley and and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country, if you will, was also uh, a, a really cool experience as well. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. I miss and going Seattle, to Vancouver. right? Let's get back oh, in both Seattle. those cities. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, with the block. And, and you have to appreciate the reach of me superb at putting himself in a good position there to block the shot and not being as aggressive the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Jake Milton, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a 
good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. Thing has been out of this world. 74% from the field. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. Mavericks trailed by 14. Stolen away. He's got a clear path. And here we go. Here's Rain Man. Here's ABC. Yow with the block. And it ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Gary. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He's gone two for two at the line so far. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Yao, it's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Boy, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on you. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Average trailed by 19. Here's McCoy. Can't hit from the elbow. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Carries it from three-point range. Rain Man's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. And so now, a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Shoot two. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, team dancers. And the first one at the line is good. Good on both. Here's Gary, banked in off the glass. Thunder's got nine points here in the second half. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. And so it's the home team cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The scoring has been... Tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the floor for Dallas, starting the fourth quarter here. Now is out there with Wallace. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Robertson. And it's McCoy in at the point. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. For three... That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. And it goes down two points. And it's six points for Cowboy. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. 
Miracle Man, he's checked in for Thunder. Stolen by Wilson. From deep. Rebound by Yao Ming. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Beal gets a wide open look. Here's Robertson. And it's out, out of bounds. bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. And the Mavericks making a change here. Waters has checked in. And so it's Dallas with it. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. He's got 25. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Here's Miracle Man. Plays it up and banks it in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's Waters. Beal taking his time here. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock. Here's Water. He's covered by Leonard. It's good on the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. A miracle man. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. ABC's checked in for Dallas. Now here's Beal, and the kid picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And it's been said that history is written by the victim. Certainly holds true in sports, don't you think, Greg? And that mind you think titles are overvalued when evaluating the great player individual players in history you know kevin i, I think so uh, having said that i think the championships do matter obviously and in the nba in basketball in general one guy can have more impact right because you only play five and you play both ways so uh, it, it does have something to say but i don't think that completes the narrative you know there's some tremendously talented guys carl malone elgin baylor patrick ewing Allen iverson a lot of greats who never won it. Uh, it it's easy to count those rings but measuring greatness has to take in the whole picture hall of famers all of them Wilson with it, and it's Wallace picking him up. Wallace. That's his second personal foul. At the line. Wilson. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And a lot of talk, Greg, about in-season tournaments in the NBA to spur fan interest. The proposal was tabled for a bit. Um, what are your thoughts on that? You know, cash prizes for the players and coaching staffs. Uh, that always seems like a good idea. I just wonder, Kevin, if they're going to be any cash prizes for the broadcasters. Because I now so. I think they're on to something. <laughs> we could get that, and, you know. And But in all seriousness, we, we see that in soccer, right? And it seems to work well. And, and I think if the... If it can spur some more interest from fans, then I'd be all for it. Yeah, the fans love it watching soccer. Now, here's Young. Tries again. Rebound by Tyler. To the middle. Here's Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And, and really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Greg, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that? Or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now, as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And if it doesn't, 
This is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. Oh, oh no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. Gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Tipped away, and it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Time out ball. A moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Miracle Man. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint, and we don't want to have things escalate. There's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. And the first one drops. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. has been sensational 75 percent for the game and the layup's good off the glass miracle man's got 39 man he's got a lot of firepower right now i mean what a half he's having dallas has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range good shooting so far and so they choose to intentionally foul first free throw is good and good on the second so he makes them both 131 left to play here in the fourth. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. On the inbound, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Here's Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. He hits the second from the line. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. And the shot goes down. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. First one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Miracle Man, defended by Milton. Count the basket. Miracle Man's got 47 points. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. And the kid picks up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Thunder's checked in for Leonard. Both good from the line that time. 109 left to play in the final quarter. Oh, just climbing the ladder for that 360. And this 
is hot. Yeah, Greg, he was sky high on that finish. And that's what it takes, guys, athleticism, coordination, and a bunch of confidence and fearlessness. ABC's checked in for Tyler. Here's Miracle Man, and yep, another basket. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. He's a brave man. You're risking <laughs> life and limb trying to move like that. He couldn't pass it up, though, right? Letting it all go. You know, that's exactly what the fans love to see, guys. I mean, they're paying good money, big money. They want wins, but they also want to be entertained. Thunder passes to Miracle Man. Here's the monster defended by Milton. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. And so they foul intentionally. And he makes the first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 45 seconds left in the game. Here's Miracle Man, and he jams it with authority. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. The professor's checked in for the monster. He hits both from the stripe. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Miracle Man. Oh, no. What's out for wow. low? Come on now. Woo. Throw it down. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Uh, me either. I, I don't think anybody was. Even he didn't know what he was going to pull off on that one. Spectacular. Takes creativity and spontaneity. The ability to make it up on the fly. That's special. And so he hits both. goes jamming that one home oh here he comes and there he goes Ugh, look at him punish that rim boy the guys on the bench loving every minute of that one and so he makes both from the line there's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter here's wilson and he drops it in from the low post that gives him a double double in this one 10 points and 10 assists, and he commits the intentional foul. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Miracle Man, defended by Mil Oh! Big time throw down with flavor. That is just nasty. About the athleticism wow. on that finish. And that's an intentional foul. And so now a timeout, timeout. called by Jason timeout. Kidd. Guys, what do you think? And they've got this one just about wrapped up. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure they needed this timeout, quite honestly. Uh, perhaps a water break? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And he's good on the second. 19 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Again, what an avalanche! Make that 61 point. Yep, everything is going his way right now. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. Here's Miracle Man, defended by Milton. And that's his M.O. Sometimes he can score more points by himself than the rest of the team. And now we've got the intentional foul. Number six. First the first one falls. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth. And that one is hammered home. He 
it doesn't get any better than that on the inbounds play exactly the way they drew it up and an intentional foul right there that free throw missing good on the second free throw out to the wing and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two you know, I tell you what he earned his money on that foul yeah if you're gonna foul then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one the first free throw is good good on both And that's an intentional foul. And he makes the first. And he makes both free throws. Here's Whitehead. And so they get the victory here at home. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really.